Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for another shave review video. We are looking at Noble Otter and you're gonna give it a shave. Let's see how it performs. are all lathered up. We have got a giant Santa beard Cool Whip consistency lather featuring the Noble Otter shaving soap. Something new to Razor Emporium but not new to the shaving scene. This is the Bar Bar. Obviously a tongue-in-cheek take on Barber. Um, the notes here are lemon, rosemary, basil, oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. Very enjoyable scent. I can definitely pull out the lemon, the rosemary, the basil. Kind of definitely got those notes going. Um, a different barber for sure. It's, it's a different kind of barber shop that I don't think I've smelled something like this before. It's kind of the, the theme with Noble Otter. They kind of do new takes on old classics and, and very kind of novel scents and novel artwork. Uh, Corey Wick started the business in Austin, Texas back in 2017, and they've really kind of been pretty popular on the shaving scene ever since, and we were happy to finally pick them up. I was like, why are we not carrying this? So now we are. Um, okay, so for we got, our, we got our software. For our hardware, we're going to use none other than the Rex console. So uh, we're going to get started with this guy. And I deliberately did not load this because this is something that I have heard some people complain about with the console. And it's fine. We're, we're happy to hear complaints um, of that loading the console can be difficult and can't we make it easier. Well, so there's a couple things going on. The console has little tabs, just like a Gillette Tech, that extend down. Those, those tabs intersect this blade tray as I call it. That blade tray is only so thick. Okay, So the tabs as they sit, when it's, when it's locked down, they're at the very bottom of this tray. Basically this little gap here, they're at the very bottom of that little gap. If they go any longer, they literally will prevent the razor from moving up and down and they're just, they're, they're blocking. We could, we could potentially have some reliefs cut into the guard that match that um, for a longer tab, but we, we did extend them as long as we possibly could. And I don't think it's a big deal. So the way I load this razor is I throw the blade right on top and I grab the cap and I just lock it in with my thumb. It's already done, it's loaded. That's why I don't see it as a big problem. I think anyone who's complaining just maybe needs to change their technique versus us change the razor design. So I'm not trying to be defensive, but I just wanted to address that because I've had some people ask about that. Uh, okay, so we're locked and loaded for our blade choice today. We have a Permasharp blade. This, to my knowledge, is what took over the Paul Silver from the, the Russian St. Petersburg kind of factory from Procter & Gamble. We're gonna give this a shot. I've got about two and a half days of growth, and with the console and the Snowball Otter, perfect. It's a one stroke wonder. <laughs> it's, that's all it needs. The console doesn't need much. The shave soap is very nice. It provided, it's providing great cushion and glide. Really like the, the fragrance too. 
it's not overpowering. Like sometimes you get different soaps out there that they're all fun to open up the cap and smell them in the store, but then you have to go home and actually use them. And you can't have it be something too crazy. Especially if you have sensitive skin. Like the thing no one talks about is like with sensitive skin, you can't have a whole bunch of fragrance. It can actually affect um, your skin and react. I got a guy recently who called us and he says, when I shave, my entire face turns red. It's red and blotchy. But then once I finish up, it goes back to normal after I splash off the soap. And I said, sir, it sounds like you're having a reaction with the soap. And he said, but I like the soap so much. I like the vendor. I like the scent. I like the packaging. I, I just, I have to use it. I said, well, sir, that's, but, but you're having this issue. You're clearly having a reaction to the fragrance oil or perfume oil or whatever. You should try something with very little scent or uh, unscented soap. And he was convinced he just needed to add something else to the equation. He said, well, what if I use witch hazel? when I'm all done. And I said, you're doing addition by subtraction, subtraction by addition. Like you really should be taking things out of the equation, not adding more things. But that's another story for another day. Let's not draw too much attention away from Noble Otter. Corey Wick, Austin, Texas. His wife got him a shaving kit, I think for Christmas, and he liked it so much he wanted to figure out how to do this for himself and kind of get more into it. So he started making his own soap. Yeah, honestly, between the cold water, the console and this soap base, I'm having a very easy, easy, fun shape. I'm gonna switch to the other side. I think I may have had word vomit and <laughs> said Cory Wick. It is Cody Wick. I got my uh, console turned to like two and a half, three, it's where I like it. I did have a customer call me yesterday and say, man, I got the console, it's like a laser. And I said, that's what we're going for. It's supposed to be a laser, the laser through the hair sensation. And all sorts of sounds from this old sink. Guys, we are just a few weeks away from moving to a new video studio. And even though it's a pretty significant financial investment for the company to build out a new studio, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> we have been in this old warehouse building for years and it is actually gonna be uh, demolished and turned into a hotel. And uh, there's so many quirks about the water here and noises. You guys probably hear airplanes and trains and cars and car alarms and jackhammers because we're like spot in the middle of downtown and there's no major sound proofing. And so you guys hear everything I'm sure. But anywho, we'll have to do a little announcement and maybe a little tour of the new video studio coming. All right. This was a fast and easy shave today. Um, sometimes I kind of do a little bit of one of these numbers where I just kind of take some of this residual and a little bit of water. if I want to do like a little bit of touch up. But very impressed with the, with the soap base. Really am. This is good stuff. It didn't dry out on me, which is always a plus. You know, sometimes you get a great soap and it feels wonderful, but it just has a tendency to want to dry out. Um, I would say it was, I wouldn't say on the thirstier side. I mean, it was pretty standard for an artisan soap for how much water it needed. Um, but yeah, nice, smooth shave overall. Let's grab a little bit of the matching aftershave. Here we go. All right. Another little trick with aftershaves. Get it on your hands. Let the alcohol kind of evaporate for just a second. 
Really, we're trying to get more of the other ingredients on our skin. Very nice. That's actually very um, kind of a moisturizing quality. I wonder what the ingredients are. Denatured alcohol, aloe leaf juice. That may be it right there. Glycerin, witch hazel, water. Yeah, there's some other stuff in there. Will white willow bark extract, chamomile extract, carrot extract, seaweed extract, menthol. I'm actually really impressed with that. That felt great. It actually felt more like a balm in the sense that it felt really moisturizing. And man, the dry down feels wonderful. Uh, very impressed with that. That's, I think that's honestly one of my new favorite aftershaves. So, very cool. Very impressed overall, guys. This is a great line of products. We're happy to stock it. And we did a video, I think last week or the week before, you can see it on our channel, kind of going more into depth with all the different scents we, we stock at the moment and kind of more about the brand, but great line of products. There's so many choices out there for artisans and, and sometimes you don't know where to start. I would say just jump in and get started somewhere. Um, experiment, have some trial and error. That's kind of part of this whole hobby of wet shaving is, is uh, time to figure out what you like and what works best for your skin. But that's all I got. If you've tried Noble Otter, if you've tried something with carrot uh, extract and seaweed extract as an aftershave, tell me below in the comments. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. That's all I got. Uh, fantastic shave today. We will see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.